how your new track tractor is operated within its first 50 to 100 hours of life can greatly affect overall track belt life. Heat buildup from friction inside a track system reduces the life of belts, mid rollers, and wheels. Heat is easily generated within your new track belts because the rubber is soft, tacky, and wheels are not yet polished smooth. All these factors lead to a higher coefficient of friction. Track trackers use soil as a lubricant between the rubber tracks and wheels. Be sure to expose new or clean tracks to dry and dusty soil conditions as soon as possible. One important detail in extending the life of your new track belts is to precondition these belts. Preconditioning must be completed before driving a tractor on the road, operating in heavy moist soils, or operating in the winter on frozen soils and snow. Track belts are preconditioned by periodically applying dry and dusty soil to the area between the wheels and belts. If dry soil is not available, a clay-based lubricant such as oil dry and or talc powder can be used. This coating provides a dry lubricant to the track belt until it can be operated in the field with dry soil. Add this lubricant to the inside area between both front and rear idler wheels. These idler wheels are cupped inward providing an area to store lubricant. Lubricant is then spread onto the track belt with each revolution. Drive tractor slowly, allowing lubricant to spread and coat the inside of the track. Stop and repeat so track is operating continuously in dry soil, oil dry, or talc for the first 15 minutes of operation. If transporting, lubricant should be reapplied after every 10 miles of distance traveled. Lubricant should also be applied if track belts are cleaned, replaced, and when operating on frozen soils. Monitor tracks closely for buildup of heat using an infrared thermometer or by touch. During this initial break-in, drive lugs and wheels undergo a polishing process. Excess rubber is scoured away and fine dust particles are embedded into the rubber, thus reducing friction. If track belts are not properly preconditioned, excessive heat from friction can build up inside drive lugs, track belts, mid rollers, and wheels. Heat buildup in the mid rollers can cause rubber separation. This separation usually begins towards the inward side of the mid roller, closest to the drive lugs. Another source of track system heat comes from roading of track tractors. Friction between tread bars and road surface builds heat rapidly inside tread bars. Heat is slow to transfer out of these tread bars due to their thickness and lack of contact with cool soil. Heat buildup in tread bars can reach a point where internal reversion occurs. This is when the rubber inside the tread bars returns to its original molten state. Then, as this liquid rubber cools down, air bubbles can form inside the tread bars. Early stages of this reversion can cause distortion in the tread bars. In later stages, these tread bars can blow out, looking as though they were exposed to some type of physical damage. If not corrected, heat buildup can reach a point where cables begin to pull out of track belt carcass. Even after initial track break-in, minimize roading of track trackers. Excessive roading can increase track wear up to 15 times faster than that of field operation. When transporting by truck, use a removable gooseneck trailer with aluminum or cast outriggers for tractors with wide track spacings. Hardwood boards are then placed on the outriggers, making outriggers even with or slightly higher than the trailer deck to prevent track damage. Additional ramps can be constructed out of wood and used to avoid track damage at the gooseneck when loading and unloading tractor. Ramps should be slightly taller than the height of your trailer deck. These ramps keep track from contacting any sharp transition points on trailer. Your local John Deere dealer can provide you with instructions on how to build these ramps.